Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. For a hook, I'm actually using a streamer hook here, but you can use a 3X or 4X long shanked nymph hook if you want. Whatever hook you use, place it in your vise securely. Then we want to add some weight to this fly, and a .015 size lead wire works really well. Make 10 or so wraps with the lead, and make sure it stays in the center of the shank. For thread, I like using a thicker thread, like this Vivas 140 power thread in olive. Start your thread at the hook eye, and leave your tag end attached. Use the tag end to smoothly go over the lead wraps. Once you place a thread dam on each side of the lead wraps, then cut off the tag end and bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now we need some wire, and this is small size chartreuse ultra wire. Attach it on the back of the hook with tight wraps, and advance your thread all the way up to about the 1 5th mark, and then bend back the wire, and tie back down to the bend of the hook. Now we want some marabou, and I really like using the blood quills here, obviously an olive. Pull out one feather, and stroke the fibers downward until you're pinching just the tip. Then stroke back the fibers that are not reaching the tip, to leave a squared off piece like so. Measure out a little over a hook gap, and then tie that in for the tail of the fly. Make three to four tight wraps, and then pull the feather rearward, and tie back up under the hook shank, under the feather, until you reach about the one fifth mark. Use some hackle pliers to grab the stem of the feather, and then cut off the excess feather fibers that are not tied down, just so they don't get in your way. Now twist the feather up tightly clockwise and proceed to make touching wraps with the corded feather until you reach about the 1 5th mark. And then capture the feather and cut off the excess. I tied down the tag end all the way to the hook eye to build up the abdomen section slightly. Now take the wire and make counter spiral wraps up the hook shank until you reach your thread. If you aren't happy with the positioning, you can always go back and try again. And it is important that you counter wrap the wire it will help hold the marabou together much better. When tying off counter wrapped wire, you want to wrap up on it a few tight wraps. Then bring the wire rearward and tie back down onto it. This will allow you to helicopter the wire off without pulling it loose. Now we need some scud back, or it's also called bug back if you buy it from Fly Tires Dungeon. And I like the olive color here. Tie this on top of the hook shank back to about the 1 5th mark. Now make a dubbing loop. Attach your twister and set it aside. Earlier this week I made a video on how to make mono eyes. I will link that video in the description section. If you want to buy them though, I will have a link to where you can buy them as well. Tie in the mono eyes like you would the dumbbell eyes, with X wraps and under wraps. Now we need some dubbing. And regular old Antron dubbing will work great. I like using the darker olive here, but it's up to you. Make a dubbing noodle and wrap the noodle over the hook shank, building an abdomen slightly. End with your thread right behind the mono eyes. Now we need some of this crack and dubbing, also by Fly Tires Dungeon. And I like the perch color. You really don't need too much, about this amount works perfect. Place the dubbing in your loop, spread it out, and then spin it up. It's also important to pick out the loop with your bogkin to make sure there is no trapped rubber legs. Palmer your dubbing hackle up the hook shank until you reach the eyes, and then capture it and trim off the waist. Now pull the bug back over the dubbing and tie down right behind the mono eyes. Then advance your thread forward past the eyes and tie it down right behind the hook eye. Pull the bug back rearward and tie down a few wraps in front of it as well. Then you can whip finish your fly and trim off the waist of the thread and bug back. This dubbing is slightly too long, so I like to come in and trim the dubbing to length. It's also a good idea to pick out the dubbing here as well before you trim it. However, I forgot that step. Either way, trim the legs to length which should be about half the length of the overall fly. Now, with some UV resin, and I'm using Bone Dry by Solarez, paint it over the bug back. 
and also the thread wraps, then cure it hard. And there we have it, a dragonfly nymph that is fairly easy to tie, but also looks pretty darn close to the real thing. I mean, it's not a lifelike imitation, but it definitely does fool trout and other fish that are targeting aquatic versions of dragonflies or damsel nymphs. Okay, well thanks for watching. If you noticed, I used a few products today by Risen. www.risenfly.com has amazing prices on gear like rods and reels. They also have fly tying materials as well. And on top of that, I got you a discount. Type in McFly at checkout to get an additional 15% off of their already amazingly priced gear. Also, you could help support my channel by getting some shirts with my amazing logo on them. Link to my awesome merchandise will be below. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.